150 is a really interesting concept. It's a community of artists that have been brought together by Time Warner to sort of develop new works and... Having people around you who will help you see a bigger vision of your voice. They're creating a new talent pipeline, almost like a farm team. Of what's going on right now versus traditional ways of creating content. You have to constantly be reminded that you can go there. It's like, really, I can, I can do this here? Just do what you do. Like, we're here to help produce your voice, who you are as an artist. And I think 150 will be the incubator that allows that to happen. The name 150 represents the beginning of this company. The Warner Brothers made an initial investment of $150 to start the business that then became the Warner Brothers Studio. We have a legacy at Time Warner. We're the place where the world's most talented artists, writers, and directors bring their best ideas and light up the screens of the world. But in a fast-changing media landscape, we also need to cultivate the freshest and most provocative and most engaging new voices, people who can help us reach new and diverse audiences. We direct and write and make a lot of projects under the name Mayor Leva. It's our last names. The format changes, but our collaboration sort of stays the same, and that's this combining of the two worlds. I went in and found frames, and then I put that into a 3D modeling program, and I created a 3D rendering of his face. And then using that file, I... I think our voices might be different from some more traditional ones because we don't actually know what we're doing. We just want to make stuff. We're compulsively creating things. One of the coolest things about 150 is that they're sort of maintaining the integrity of the original artist's vision. Like, we were scared they were going to change what we do or how we do it, but it's sort of been the opposite. It's been nothing but sort of nurturing. It's kind of exciting because then you know that your content can exist alongside these giant projects that have been uh, developed over years. My job is to create magic. The audience is there to buy into it. I am a poet. My day is always chasing the imagination. Even when I sleep, I have to have a pen and a pad near me. It just doesn't stop. When you're on stage and you're performing, it's out of this world, the feeling of connecting to an audience. But now you have to transition into television. I mean, that's a real challenge for me. So it's exciting to take this on. It takes an incubation like this to level you up while you still remain raw in this talent. What do I call myself is probably the hardest question that I'm ever asked. It's really about connecting with people. But at the core of it, I think I'm a storyteller. We get to be the people that are going to think of what the new great idea is going to be, and it's going to benefit Time Warner because it's all being incubated underneath of the same house. It is a two-way street, and it allows us as creatives to come in and sort of get above the noise uh, that's being created by the internet. And for Time Warner, it's great because it shows a company that's forward-thinking. It's all about stretching far and having support, having people around you who will help you see a bigger vision of your voice. Ultimately, we make things because we like to tell stories. All of a sudden, we have like guidance. We have someone showing us sort of how to bring that and put that on a way bigger scale. But because we're in this incubation, you're allowed to fail forward. I want the work I do here to be amazing. So the pressure is on. Yeah.